the Ascot Novices Maiden Chase is next up. Um, so two more five furlong maiden. Uh, I talked about Alsudia, more oh, David Hooley. Dark Alert, Greg Beckwith, Decider, Nebras, David Robertson, everybody's four, Padre Hogan, Pizza Hut, Matt Cooper, The Chain, Graham Clutterbuck, Capably Dangerous, Martin Lidham, Cleopatra, Leon Van Rensburg, and Nina Di Maggioro for Padre Hogan, a field of nine here at Ascot for this Ascot Novices Maiden. They're called in and away and heading towards the first fence. It's Dark Alert who's going to lead them into it. I've got 16 to take in this. Two and a half miler, or two mile five furlongs, and Dark Alert is in the lead by a banner length. Two on the inside of the chain, Pizza Hut in the grey pulling for its head. As so we take a look at them from the inside of the track, and you can see the leader, Dark Alert, has gone two to three clear already as they approach the first of the 16. Uh, stood off that one, got a bit nicely, Pizza Hut got in a bit close. Uh, made a mistake, capably dangerous, the early back marker. Fence two comes up pretty sharpish, and we've lost something there. It's the chain that's gone. So, never break the chain. Oh, it's gone this time, and they get over the third. And the rest of them are all safely over that one. That's a, another short run to the fourth. Those three fences coming up in close, well, four really, coming up in close proximity. They're over them, and heading there towards the next, which is... Quite a distance away in the straight, as you can see. And Dark Alert has gone five or six lengths clear of Pizza Hut in second. The side of Nebras on the outside of that one is third. Then Cleopatra fourth with everybody's fall after that one. And then Alcudia in the purple jacket with the yellow and black of Nina de Magura on the inside of the striped, capably dangerous. The one who's just out of shot at the moment is the loose horse, the chain. So, all the ones that are in it, we're going to see. And Dark Alert. Leads them up the straight. This will be the last on the next circuit. And uh, there's another faller there. It's the uh, Alsudia that's gone this time. So David Hughes Alsudia is the second of these novices to depart the race. And seven left then as they pass the winning post with a complete circuit of the Ascot track to go. And it's Craig Beckwith's dark alert that leads them past the post the first time. Decided to need his second for... David Robertson and Leon Van Rensburg's Cleopatra in the dark blue has just moved into third ahead of the grey pizza hut in the red jacket for Matt Cooper. The first of two for Padre Hogan on the outside. Everybody's full. He's making a forward move. The purple and white stripes of Capably Dangerous is next and then the back marker some three lengths adrift. And Nina Di Maguro as they come to this Line of fences again, and a mistake there by David Robertson has decided Nebras has seen that one shuffle down the pack a little bit. And dark alert comes to the next stiff test of jumping down this back straight at Ascot. They all get over that one okay, though. A short run to the next with dark alert showing the way, trying to make every post a winning one. It's done so so far. Here's the ditch, and a slow jump by Leon van Rensburg's horse Cleopatra this time. As they come into the next, this next plain one. And dark alert. Oh, Pizza Hut's gone. Pizza Hut got in really close to that one. Looked to be travelling really well as well, but got in really close and gave the jockey no chance of staying on board. And that's three out now. And it's Dark Alert. Who leads by a length. The clear patter in second. A gap of two or three then to Capably Dangerous in third. And another gap of a couple to... Decide and Nebras and the Padre Hogan pair at the back. Everybody's full. And Nina Di Maguero. Here's the 11th of the 16. Good jump by Leon on Van Rensburg's Cleopatra. Has seen that one jump up into a share of the lead as they come to the 12th. Uh, this time Craig Beckwith's horse was a better jumper. Dark Alert. So Dark Alert then will lead into this ditch. This is four from home. And over that one they all go. And Dark Alert and Cleopatra are battling it out up top. They're three lengths clear of K. Oh, Cleon's gone there. Cleopatra's crashed straight into that fence and has crashed out. And suddenly there's only four or five left as they race down towards the final few fences. And it's Dark Alert who's been in the lead all the way. 
And in a three length advantage over Capably Dangerous in second. A gap of another three or four then back to everybody's full. There's just two more fences to take then. And it's Dark Alert who's clear at the second last. Dark Alert comes into it, jumps it slowly. Oh, and he's gone this time. It's Capably Dangerous who's just run straight into the fence as they come down towards the final fence now. Then there's only four left as they come down to the final fence. Dark Alert, everything that's come anywhere near to challenge him has fallen over. And it's Dark Alert in the lead for Craig Beckwith. Up towards the final fence he goes. Pops over, over in second is Decider Nimrus, and then everybody's fallen into Demagiro. But an action pack race here as they race up towards an on dark alert. Led all the way, start to finish. Decider Nimrus is getting a little bit closer, but I don't think he's going to get there in time. And dark alert wins it. Decider Nimrus second, Nina Demagiro third, and everybody's full fourth. And some crashing falls in that race. Capably dangerous and Cleopatra both virtually run straight through their fences. And it's a win for Craig Beckwith. Dark alert for Craig Beckwith is the winner. Decider Nebras for David Robertson was second. Nina de Maguero, Patrick Hogan third. Everybody's full for Patrick Hogan was fourth. And nothing else managed to get around.